All right, here I am at the top of Blanca Peak in Southern Colorado. Got Little Bear Peak over here, and the infamous Little Bear Peak to Blanca Traverse right along here. You can see it's a pretty, pretty narrow ridge. Um, Lake Como is down there. I think that's Lake Como. And Lake Como Road comes all the way through here on down. And then over here we got Hellingwood Peak. And hopefully I can uh, traverse over there today and get some photos from the top of that. Out in the distance, you can see the Crestones. You can see Carson and Challenger. Uh, you can see Humboldt over there. And uh, looking out this way, you can see north towards the Collegiates. In that direction, Ouray. Uh, over there, it's going to be San Luis Peak. And then out towards the San Juan. Aspen area. Getting out in that direction. Uh, actually, no, there might be some Aspen Capital over there. Um, over here, spin around a little bit. You can see the east and west Spanish peaks. And you can go up here and you can see the peak off in the distance in that direction. Um, got a couple of lakes up here. Uh, this is the saddle that we came up to get up to that ridge line and go up that direction. I'm going to take some video over here. Here we're kind of looking at the southeast face of Blanca. And let's see here. We got Mount Lindsay right there. 14er and again east and west Spanish peaks puts Calibra Peak uh, right down there I believe I think that's Calibra down there I've got a couple lakes up this side as well so I'm looking down at Fort Garland and Blanca the towns of Blanca and then uh, Alamosa that way and if we could see the great sand dunes which you might have from the other side I don't know if you caught it but great sand dunes are kind of going to be in that direction so today for a hike and um, I'm going to show you guys the way down from the top. We climbed up in the morning and uh, hopefully I can take a video on the way down and maybe even traverse over to Ellingwood Peak and then take you all all the way down to Lake Homa and hopefully even down Lake Homa Road. Lake Homa Road was a tough, tough climb. We climbed up yesterday um, and camped at uh, Lake Homa because Lake Homa was a climb in itself. Um, we thought about it split up and, and I think it was a better idea. So anyway, beautiful day for a hike.
are at the top of Hellingwood Point, which is that little cairn right there. And uh, you can see beautiful, beautiful panoramic view today. Such a gorgeous clear sky today. It's, it's amazing. Uh, let's do some things. I don't remember the name of that lake down there. Oh, Lily Lake, because that's the Werfano uh, Lily Lake uh, trailhead area. Of course, that over there behind the cairn is Lindsay, which is a 14er. Bike Peak out there uh, in the distance. You have Humboldt and the Crestones, Carson Challenger right there, um, looking up towards the Collegiates. You got a bunch of 14ers up there, Mount Ure. Um, you got Mount Bennett. Oh, uh, California Peak is over there. It's the darker colored one in front of the Crestones. Uh, you got Zapata Lake down there. Uh, hopefully, you can hear me. Uh, the sand dunes. Where are the sand dunes? They're going to be up there. In fact, you can see just a bit of the sand dunes um, between those two mountains right there. So we're looking out at the, you know, the basin. Uh, Alamosa is that direction right there. Um, you have San Luis Peak. Uh, you got, you know, Snowmass and Castle, kind of off in that direction. Uh, and the Maroons, Pyramid, and so on. Uh, San Luis Peak. Um, you can see over there to like Andes, uh, towards Lake City. Uh, behind San Luis Peak, uh, Red Cloud Sunshine, uh, Wetterhorn, El Capagre, they're all over there. Root Run Pyramid's over there. This is looking out into New Mexico down here. And over there you have um, the peaks that are just inside the border of New Mexico. Uh, I'm trying to remember, uh, I don't recall off the top of my head. Uh, starts with the V. Anyway, as we swing around here, you can see Calabra, uh, which is the southernmost uh, 14er. Colorado. Um, this big guy right in front of us, okay, this, that, that's Little Bear. The one to the right is Little Bear Peak. So yeah, Little Bear to Blanco Peak Traverse, which is a, one of the Grand Traverses of Colorado. Calabra in the background again. Blanca up there, biggest uh, biggest peak around here at 14,350 or so. Uh, there's a couple of folks on top right now, and that ridge line is, is where you climb up, right along that ridge line. And you come down to the saddle and you climb up towards Ellingwood. Um, you got the east and west Spanish peaks out there. You got Lindsay, which is that 14 er there. And then on, a, uh, or on towards uh, Colorado Springs, which is on that way. Uh, so, gorgeous day. You can see uh, quite a bit. Uh, I'll walk over to the, the peak of Ellingwood. And then, uh, yeah, after that, hopefully, I'll get you some shots uh, going down uh, Lake Como Road, which is definitely, definitely a hike in itself. Long way down. Oh, and if you were coming up from Zapata Lake, you would take this ridge line here and then follow it down. So let's take a little look over here, real quick. Ta da! Peak of Ellingwood Point, right here. Somebody left a rock helmet up here, it looks like. But uh, yeah, you can see Crater Lake down there. And uh, just a, a gorgeous, gorgeous day to be up here. Uh, you can see a couple mining areas. Along the way, the trail we came up is, is down there, going down towards Crater Lake and on down towards Lake Como, uh, which was which is definitely a long one. We camped at Lake Como, which I think was the best way to do it. So, gosh, beautiful day to be on a hike.
treated leaks. Como Road.
there's Little Bear. There's the gully you go up and the ridge you go up to meet the hourglass to climb Little Bear.